Good morning. It's just another beautiful day in the neighborhood. But the great thing is, is that it's Wednesday, which means we made it halfway through the week. I got my Duncan, dropped my kid off. Uh, she left me with her popping bubbles and not gonna lie, I'm kinda gonna drink a little bit. Mm. Ooh. Okay, that was really tart. But anyway. So, um, some of you may or may not know. In fact, probably a lot of you may not know. I applied for um, the Gary V. Sorcerer Scholarship Token earlier in May. And um, the reason why I applied is interesting. So, so Sal DeGuardia, who is like the most amazing human being ever, um, took it upon himself to create this glorious clubhouse for people who have submitted their applications and some of those who still have not yet to do it, which the deadline is tonight, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. But on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we all get together and we talk about the process. So part of what the token wants you to do to apply, the token wants us to do, whatever, um, is to talk a little bit about the journey of where we are so far, how we got to where we we were and why we want the um, why we want the scholarship. So look, when I first applied to it, I didn't even know it. Ex I did not even know it existed until somebody actually linked it because at the time I was new to the community. I thought ten dollars was going to give me all the ETH in the world that I needed to buy five billion tokens, which was totally not the truth at all. <laughs> um, and I found myself in a sea of beautiful people. Um, but the friendless and it felt really sucky at the time. It was really, really bad. Um, the FOMO was extremely real and I was so down in the friggin' dumps about it. Um, and then like the most amazing thing started to happen is that people in the community were like coming together and just like gifting ETH to strangers just so they could be part of this beautiful V conference and this amazing experience all together. And it was like knowing people just for like weeks that were willing to like basically give you the shirt off of their back and say, hey, I'm investing in you. And that was beautiful. Um, but, but before that happened for me, because there's a story behind that, um, somebody said, hey, you know, you can still get a, um, a token and you don't have to buy it, you, but you have to submit an essay. And I thought, well, I can do that. But so I sat there and I was like, all right, like my whole intent was I really want to get to VCon. Um, the reason why I'm in this community is because, well, at the time I was just thinking it was just an awesome thing that I wanted to do for myself and nobody in my, you know, out of the internet inner circle of friends or family had no, know anything about this. So it was just something I wanted to do for myself to kind of like get out of my, you know, box. So, so I'm going through a lot just in life and work everything and I feel like what I really want out of the scholarship is to kind of reinvent myself and and I know it may seem seem or sound kind of silly or questionable to some people but you know for a very long time and and this is what I put in my my essay too is that I've just felt like you know how butterflies they start off as caterpillars and then they're in this cocoon and then they like launch to be this beautiful you know butterfly like a rebirth of themselves I feel like I'm that butterfly that's been trapped in my cocoon for way too long I've been the caterpillar I've been inching up and you know getting where I need to go slow and steady and just kind of going with the flow and I feel like there's so much more to me like I'm, I dabble in this and that and I, I try a little bit of everything um, I'm a chronic dabbler that's one thing you'll know about me is I'm a chronic dabbler and it's funny because um, somebody had actually said to me, well, if you had to pick one thing, what would you want to do? And I just can't pick one thing. And I don't really want to pick one thing. I feel like there's a lot of things that I like to do that make my heart happy and I want to focus on them. So to pick like one thing was kind of like, I don't think I could do it. And I don't think I want to do it. So that's a, I'm a challenge. I'm a challenge. But, you know, back to the scholarship is that as I was just starting to write something because I just wanted a token out of it, I started to really think about, well, what could this opportunity bring for me? Like, 
it gets you, and I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, I just know that it gets you multiple sessions um, with Gary V and his extended um, community and um, business associates and partners and um, it's a mentorship is really what it is. And um, I really believe that I am in need of that. And I don't think that you are too old or too young to need that. Um, I will be 47 next month. And um, a lot of times I get on myself thinking, well, am I too old to like make a change in life? And the truth is you're never too old. In fact, age has nothing to do with anything. It's all about your mindset. And so, I just know that I am capable of doing a lot of things, um, whether or not I'm, I'm too scared to, to really push myself to, to focus on those things, or I just need the guidance to get me where I need to be, or to kind of help bring out of me what I might be good at. Because I know that I'm good at a lot of things. I love community. I love mentoring. I love structure. I love helping people. I love standing up for people. I love empowering people. Like there's a lot of things, um, that I'm made of, I guess. But I don't know in life where it leads me to be other than myself, just doing what I'm doing, but I feel like there's potential for me to, to give my gift of love and compassion and sarcasm at times. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of me to give and I don't know in the, in the proper way or uh, forum to do that. So, I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit because this was in May where I submitted my essay. And since then, there's a lot of people who have been doing like a multitude of different things, making videos, making um, sound waves, you know, sending all this stuff. And I'm just like, literally, I wrote my stuff in a Google Doc because it had to be a certain number of um, words. So I, I used that for the word counter and then I literally copy and pasted it in an email. I mean, I guess that speaks to me at how basic I can be. Um, but I didn't, I didn't think too hard about it. And I don't know if that's a blessing or a curse because I do see some people who are still in a friggin' head jam about it. Um, and I feel bad because I understand what it, what it feels like to be in the head jam. But, you know, a lot of people documented their journey in life up to now and how the scholarship was meant for them. Um, me, I just, I didn't even talk about my, ah, oh boy, do I have a little... Oh, do I have lots of stories? <laughs> I don't think I could fit that in 555 words, but I literally just focused on the journey or the point that I'm at now in life and what I want from this. And that's to reinvent myself. And that's truly what I'm looking for. So that's a little bit about what's been on my mind the past you know, few days. Um, the last of the submissions are gonna be made tonight. And um, I don't know how long it's going to take Gary Vee or his team to make their decisions on who they're going to include as part of this um, awesome fivesome. But um, just the fact that I put myself out there, I'm really proud of myself. You know, whether or not I get it, you know, it's going to be kind of a bummer. But I feel like no matter what happens, I'm going to survive because there's a lot of people that are actually hinging their lives on hopefully getting the scholarship and working for Vayner Media, and this might be unpopular opinion, but I guess my intention, or maybe I never thought of it, I never thought of it getting me a job in Vayner. What I really thought of this scholarship as is something to kind of help me to solidify my foundation and help build a framework out to where I wanna go from where I am today. Um, I have been putting out content for years, mostly just like videos. I'm a gamer. Um, you know, I didn't just start this when I got into the community. So I feel like for me to like get up and make a video like I'm doing now is just kind of become my norm. Um, whether or not I'm good at it is another thing, but I love to share myself because I, you know, I know what it feels like for me to find someone or something that resonates with me. Um, it's meaningful. And I feel like there, everybody has a part of their story that could help or resonate with somebody in some sort of way. So if there is something that I'm going through, I know darn well there's got to be somebody out there that's going through the same thing. And if my, my trying to find myself <laughs> process is helpful to anybody else, I feel like I'm winning. I feel like my job is done. And, um, that's kind of, I guess, how I'm approaching things. 
um, if I get the scholarship and I get invited into Vayner and his, you know, branches, that is a glorious thing. But my main focus is on how I can provide value, not just within the VFriends community, but um, out into the world. And that's really my goal here. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to challenge myself a little bit. I do think that I need to really push myself because staying, you know, static and doing like the same five things probably isn't going to help me as much. And plus, you know, learning is great. So I'm going to push myself a little bit harder, um, set, set goals, but um, I really think that this scholarship can help me get connected to the right people who can help um, kind of, you know, scoot me down the, <laughs> the path that I was meant to be on. Um, so I'm hoping to find myself and um, that's where I am at now. So for anybody out there, I hope you found this helpful, meaningful, whatever, but I just wanted to share my story with you um, and just hang in there. Um, you know, D-Rock made a post yesterday, which was Tuesday the 20th. Um, and there were steps in his life that he took, not realizing that they were leading him onto this amazing journey with uh, Gary V. that I think he said seven or eight years um, he's been working with Gary. So you just don't know, like you are making steps today, the things that you are doing today and you may not realize it, they're, they're building the springboard to, to your destination. So just have faith in the process. And I know it's very, very hard, um, but be patient. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with the process and uh, just keep going. And that's it.